this video I'll be showing you how to customize your own simple WordPress theme. It's very effective. As you can see here, this is my uh, website, mindfulyoungman.com. I have been blogging for about six months and this is the theme I've been using. It so as you can see there's your header image you have a very simple minimalist white background with uh, your blog name in the top left and you have the home which is basically what we have right here it's the has all the blog posts on it and the widgets on the right uh, and then as categories you can have as many as you want you can create whatever drop down, uh, whatever drop down menus that you want, and then there's an about page, which it's very simple. Just you can put in whatever title you want in whatever headers you want, and you can write your about me page, put some links in it. And I added a picture at the bottom. And then finally, there's the contact page. Which you just put your name, email, and it sends it to the email that you cre you put in. But they, they cannot see your email, so it's totally private. Now, if you want to see how to make this, first you will need a WordPress website. You will... Uh, I'll show I have a another video coming up of how to create this but basically you need to go to your WordPress dashboard and you need to go to appearance themes then search 2016 it's the WordPress theme that uh, the WordPress has built themselves it's a uh, very simple you just hit activate you're gonna wanna uh, hit customize and then it'll look like this you can put in your site identity so that's basically what's right here uh, your the title of your website and then the quote or the description below it the site title which for me is the mindful young man then it has a tagline gaining mindfulness through life and then your uh you can select your logo from which i'll show you in a, the next video how to or a future video how to make Now I would recommend your background to be uh, just a white background. It's I would not recommend doing an all black background. So the page background is white, the background. The link color is blue, which is right here. See so yeah, how when I hover over it's blue. And then there's the main text, which is just black and the gray which is basically right here just right under it it shows up as a grayish color now the header image really adds some uh, it's kind of like in many social media pages when you have your header I'd recommend uh, making a really high def header that's uh, you could probably go, or what I use is unsplash.com as a free pictures of like free domain. So you have all the rights to use it and they're just high quality HD pictures. And then you can change the background, which I just leave mine white. And then the menu. All right, so the menu you definitely want to customize I would do the home with all your blog posts on it and then the primary menu which you can once you create categories in WordPress you can uh, 
you can just add as many as you want and then you can just create multiple links and then the about page I would recommend creating but it's a very simple theme it's not too complicated but the fun part comes with the widgets so on mine you can see right here there's a bunch of widgets on the right So on the widgets sidebar, you can add or remove as many as you want. I have a MailChimp set up for my email list and then social media. I have uh, just Twitter and Google Plus, a Facebook page by Jetpack. It works very well. I I just created my Facebook page so it only has 10 likes but you can add how large you want it but it's a really nice setup it just shows your uh, header image of your Facebook page your logo and you, they can like it directly from your website and then you can add whatever widget that you like so here I have the you can add your archives your uh, jetpack which I, I use MailChimp but then the calendar of your posts and whatever plugins you add this is where all the widgets would show up at and the Twitter timeline here I'll show you guys how to add the Twitter timeline since I just deleted that so I'm gonna close my I'm gonna add it below my Facebook page so I'm gonna go add widget Twitter timeline and then you're gonna have to put your username in and then you're going to have to put your or here we go follow me on Twitter it just has I don't think it looks that well because all the links are in red but as you can see it has all my latest posts that I posted on Twitter and you can just scroll down or you can view on Twitter and then I'm gonna change it to a dark theme see how that looks maybe it'll attract some more attention on the sidebar there we go it's a little contrast and then you can show on only certain pages so maybe you only want to show it on your home page show right now it's only showing if the page is and then I'm gonna say my front page that's how to set up a Twitter timeline now you can play with the widgets but the static front page is what you can customize so you right now I have latest post so it changes every time an I upload a post but on the other hand you can also create a static which you can uh, you can just create a page whatever you'd like say uh, start here page where it, it can go to whatever they like or uh, whatever post you want to link them to or it could go straight to my about page all right so I just change it to my about page which as you can see once I anyone goes to my website they'll go straight to the about here's the Twitter that I set up earlier and then you can add links to other pages and so forth so it's really customizable I'm gonna leave mine on my latest post because I just like how that looks better but 
there you have it. There's the WordPress 2016 theme and how you can edit it however you would like. Thanks for watching. And just like, comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate it.